What up, YouTube, and welcome back to another installment of Ask Talk by Brittany D. And of course, I am Brittany D, and today I am back with another lock tutorial for you guys. And in today's tutorial, we will be doing another no retwist style. This will kind of be a two for one because I originally wanted to do like a bun, but I didn't like the way it turned out. So I went to my old reliable style, which is the Marge Simpson inspired look. You guys should know what I'm talking about because there is a tutorial that's already available on my YouTube channel. It's pretty cool, go check it out, but I'm just going to recreate that look, but add a little twist to it you guys know i love to try new things and so we're going to try new things but first we're going to gather all my locks by brushing them up into a bun and the locks that you see in the rubber band will be my bang these will be the locks that i add the beads to so we're going to get into that but first we're going to fail at putting my locks into a bun so my original plan was for me to put my locks into this beautiful spiral looking bun but i did not like the way it turned out and so I took it down but I'm still going to show you guys the process because as I look back at playback I realized it wasn't that bad it really wasn't but it just wasn't what I envisioned and so it had to go not to worry we're going to visit my girl Coco and she's going to hook me up I know so we're just going to leave it to her okay but you see it was it wasn't bad but it just it wasn't cute either yeah it's just not cute and so i was like yeah we're going with plan b because i had no time to be playing around with my hair bay and i were attending a dirty 30 later on that night and so i just had to stick to what i know and go to my go-to style so you want to start off by placing all your locks into a ponytail and then you want to begin building that tower and i do that by taking some small black rubber bands and stacking them maybe a few centimeters above each other until I reach my desired height. And to get your tower as straight as possible, you want to make sure that none of the locks are trapped inside. So make sure you run your fingers through the tower. That way you can untangle any locks that may have gotten tangled. But once you are done, this is what it will look like. As you can see, it's nice and straight. All the locks are tucked away and it's looking great. Like I said before, I do have another tutorial on this look available on my YouTube channel. So go check it out if you want a more in-depth tutorial. But now we're going to work on the fun part, which is the beads. So for right now, beads are the number one lock accessory. Every time I scroll Instagram, there's always a beautiful lock babe with some beads coming down my timeline. And so I thought, why not? Why not hop on the trend? But of course, add my own little twist. Because you guys know I have to do my own thing. It's the Libra in me. But to get back on topic, I did purchase these beads from Amazon. So I purchased the 50 piece large hole wood European barrel beads in the color random colors and these are the stanier eight millimeter hole beads and i realized that my locks are thick and wasn't going to fit in that tiny little hole so um i had to grab one of bay's power tools and make that thing a little wider okay <laughs> And be careful when you do this, you know, make sure you have something to protect your eyes. If you are not an adult, make sure you have an adult with you, okay? Do not do this by yourself, little kitties, okay? But it took me three days to drill these holes into these beads because I had to drill 48 beads because I had the brilliant idea of I want to have rainbow beads and I didn't realize how many colors was in the rainbow and it was just a lot my hand was sore for a couple of days but I got them done so I made the hole about 10 millimeters wide and that way my locks were able to just slide right in without any problems you know just a cool little hack but now we are about to add those beads but first we're going to talk about these shells I don't know where I was going with this but I wasn't going anywhere with this I was just not feeling it at all you will see by the end of this video these shells will be gone but 
first we're going to add these beads which is so much easier to do now that the hole is bigger so I'm just sliding the beads on to my locks and the order that I am placing them in is red orange and yellow pretty much all the warm colors and I'm just adding those beads to my locks and I make sure that I skip every other lock so not all the locks will have the warm colors those that don't have the warm colors will have the cooler colors right it makes sense it's only it's only obvious right so as you can see boom right there you can see the example so I'm just going to continue adding my beads <laughs> Peace and love and R&B are loving There must be some pink clouds in the atmosphere Peace and love and All right, so now that all my bees are secure, you can see pretty much what I have in mind. And this is the moment where I decided like, yeah, these shells is not going to it's not going to mesh well with my bees and so i did remove those shells and i'm just going to really quickly do the other side but this time starting off with the cooler tones and then doing the warmer tones all right now that my bang gang is done i am loving the way it turned out i need to go hit up babe so he can freshen up this undercut because it is grown out and it is time to get that right so i'm about to go see my babe he's about to get me together and then i'll be right back with a beat face in his there she go hey so um what we're about to do next is work on those little little flyaways and little baby hairs little swoop to swoop little dupe to dupe so i'm going to take my favorite edge control this is the style factor i'm having some time i'm having a hard time getting it to focus on that but yes we're going to take some of that style factor edge control on my little toothbrush and we're going to add a little swoop of dupes to this hairstyle you know just be a little extra if you guys want to see a baby hair tutorial, I do have an old one up on my YouTube channel that you guys can check out. It's real cool, real in dip, you know, it's real good. Go check it out. But I'm going to continue brushing my adolescent hair until it forms into the desire of swoop the dupes that I wanted to do. But once I am done with all that jazz, I am going to remove my scarf and begin to brush those fly away hairs because I want this to look almost like a slick back ponytail type of deal so I need to tame that new growth with my edge control you guys know it has been a few months since my last retwist and so we gotta get some of this new growth under control and please excuse if you hear my son in the background you guys know how he is no respect no respect at all but this is the finished look i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial because i had so much fun creating this look for you guys it's a nice twist to an oldie but a goodie so i just love the way it turned out and look at this fade like of course babe did that he hooked me up like this entire look was a hit when i wore it out the compliments that i was getting psh, left and right non-stop back to back like drake said like i'm telling you be prepared to turn heads with this look but this is pretty much it for me please remember to like comment subscribe follow me on instagram and all that jazz until next time until we meet again until we're back on youtube watch another crazy video night <laughs> bye bye